Ho guys, Fujara speaking. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number. Um. Fire and Furry, uh, Fire 41. Excuse me, get away. Tell Rachel, um, imagine that how Dr. Seuss wrote The Cat in the Hat by Julie, um, Syria. Illustrated by Kevin Hawks. So let's read out, shall we? So we got for us. Anyway. This is published by Ram House, New York, copyright 2017, all right, reserved. And it's for Bob, um, Julie Surya, Ian, Anna, Kevin Hawks. See here is um, the paintings and drawings you saw in The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. Anyways, 1954 was a great year to be a kid. There was a five cent donut. And one set lollipops. Wow, okay. Rock and roll has just hit the regular shops, okay? Bookstores, Bram was exciting new books like Charlotte's Web, Lord of the Rings, which is exciting stuff right there, and Horn Here's Who, which makes good sense anyway, even though Horn of the Rings came out in the 2000s, and Horn Here's Who came out in, 20, in the late 2000s. And of course, Charlotte's Web was a great movie growing up in the 1970s for you guys out there. Anyways, next page. Anyways, um, moving on. Uh, 1954 was a great year to be a kid. Unless you were trying to learn how to read. Wow. For some reason, good first graders weren't making the leap for reading a few words to, for, to read a whole book. Words were stopped. Wow. What can the problem be? Kids knew the answer. School readers were just plain boring. Um, okay. A famous writer named John Hersey agreed with the kids. You know, as a kid growing up, I was part of agree, part of disagree, but that's just my case. And that times like, oh my god, what's going on next between the whole heavy metal ways and the whole thing. That's my taste, unfortunately. But anyway, he has an idea for solving the what Paul wrote about a what magazine, okay? What kids need to, in the beginning, what we're here. And so exciting, they can stop, couldn't stop turning the pages. Who can write the book like that? On the funniest children offer in the land. This is amazing idea, Cat in the Hat, Wire Dr. Seuss. That's exciting objects right there. Next page. Anyways, um, Dr. Seuss, which is I mentioned before. Dr. Seuss was, we it says, would you please write a book that no kid would says. P.S. Use the words on the no nonsense list. And that makes more perfect sense. Dr. Seuss is one of them. I'm a huge fan of Dr. Seuss's works in the work and 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 the whole thing as a kid growing up. Little kid. Dr. Seuss's ABCs is one of them. So yeah, it's just made more sense anyway. I dealt, talk about this during bedtime stories at that one point. And that makes perfect sense. Next page. Anyways. Ted is known to his friends as already published nine big picture books. Uh, books like If I Ran in the Zoo, Scramble Egg Super, and Tarwig, the, the Big Hearted Moose. They were funny and kids love them. Wow. Um, but he can write and illustrate a first grade reader. And of course, a short lived bu little book could write, think of that would only take one or two weeks. Wow. Or so he could fight. Mm -hmm. That makes more sense for Dr. Seuss to carry on. So there you go. Next page. Anyways, um, each morning after breakfast, Tim went upstairs to, to his studio and he has a chair and a desk, a drawing board for drawing, and a typewriter for drawing, for writing, okay? 
He also has a closet full of outlandish hats. Wow. When he could think of the right words, a stubble hat will, will sure to help. And that makes more perfect sense for Dr. Seuss. It took him three years to make the cat in the hat. Perfect sense in any way. Next page. Anyways. Right in the beginning, Breer was not, um, um, not as simple as seed. But one thing, Taylor liked to invent new words for his book. Like, words like, all black again, it's the college and yoga and wool bows. And hit them, no, 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 I'll be honest about that. And dip, dip, no, dongas. But in this book, he should only be able to use words from the official list. Wow. That is a good idea. A simple idea to make more sense anyway. It's a great idea. Next page. Anyways, um. I should write a rip roaring book. About Queen Zebra. Huh? Ted declared. You could, um, you check the official list. Queen, no, that's not on the list. Zebra, no, not on the list. Thank you. Maybe a book about a bird. I like birds. Bird, no, no, not on the list. No, 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 no. Okay. Ted declared the list. Spy the word cat. He spied in the word hat. And that rhymes too, you know? Cat rhymes with hat. It just, it so it's all with that. Mm hmm. Next day, anyway. He reached for his crayons and he, his colored pencils. Mm hmm. Kind of a Disney difference. And that makes more sense, anyway. You do the math and you do the rhyming. Kind of Mother Goose nursery rhymes. And that makes more perfect sense, anyway. It's like Queen Lips the second in that style, and birds um, are different. Next page, yeah. And that's an only, only drawings the cat in the hat were made. Anyway, the cat needed a whiz bang story. Ten duel, his stories often begin to do with a duel. He daydream, he tap in the teeth, and, and this typewriter, he donned several hats. And he sat in the his chair, started in his list. Now, in the original drawings of the cat in the hat, there is like this. From Sally to Conrad and the cat in the hat. See here is the original drawings. So, that's the cat in the hat drawing you saw right here. And things one and two with um, the fish. Um, Crippled mine, you know? To make more sense now, anyway, there's original drawings of that to come for, and Ted loves to duel. And he came up with the idea of who loves to draw things. So he came up with, uh, Ted came up with this idea, Dr. Seuss came up with this idea. The, um, this, what, why in red hat with a black st st stop in the head. And, and it's hot. Bomb is hot. So, there you go. That's the cat how was originally born. In 1950s. Late, late, 19, late 1950s. Next page. Anyway. Um. Oh, wow. This is the double thing. So anyway. And it said Ted juggled the words in the flesh. Then he thought, why not let the cat juggle instead? Exactly. He can juggle the stuff in the flesh. Yes, he can. You can juggle the wagon and the book and the fan. You can um, juggle the fish and the, and the fish won't like that. Wow. That's just okay. I can draw two nice kids to have fun with the cat. Mm hmm. Two naughty things. The king, um, queen of upper. I think I'll have just started tonight after supper. Wow. That makes more sense anyway, even though it's drawings of cat look well, any difference anyway. That's the original drawings of the cat and the whole drawings and stuff thing with Conrad um and Sally. So it makes more sense anyway, with their bar on Ted's juggling board. Next page. Anyways, um 
to power the how the kids learn to, to read. Um, um, he had hunched that easy rhymes and funny drawings would help them get guess the words they didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, he used tricks to call readers um, to turn the page. Mm -hmm. Like I do all the time in my bedtime stories episode. Mm -hmm. For example, he put the words bump in the huge letters. And the, and the top right edge in the page 5, what made that bump sound? Um, kids have to turn the page to that find out. And that makes more sense. This is a bedtime story episode. If you go back to my bedtime story episode on the cat in the hat, you know what I'm talking about. And this would make more sense than catching the face. And... Did this series have a dog in this book? I don't think so. See, here is the original drawings of the cat and hat. That was part of the original parts in the bedtime story episode. Seen here. Drawings from cat and hat comes back by Dr. Seuss. Seen here without Conrad. Anyways, next page. Anyways, Ted drew, he redrew, he wrote, he, re he visited. Um, it took more than a year until he was satisfied that the book was funny enough. Excited enough, um, and all around stupendous enough for, for kids to learn to read. And that makes perfect sense to type and to draw. And that makes more perfect sense to have a typewriter like that. Cat in the hat was more perfect. Now, this is... Um, set proportion is drawing, and that makes more perfect sense to make more difference in any way. So, there you go. Next page, anyways. Um, Ted delivered the manuscript in his publishers in New York, they love it. Soon, the huge sheets of paper roll out of the giant print prices, or something like that. Anyway, wow. Workers use special machines to fold the paper, cut in the pages, sew the pages together, and sandwich each book between two covers. They load the cover books in the, in the trucks, and the trucks um, run away to libraries, bookstores, and schools. Wow. As I read during Bedtime Stories episode earlier, that makes more sense. And you know, some of the books were, the books were finished, you know, just made more sense anyway. And they love this book, dedicated to, to the cat in the hat. See here is the deliveries of the cat in the hat, and I was one of those readers, you know, at the time. So, and I saw in the fear while reading this book from the 2003 version when people were like, "Oh my God, this is awful," you know. At the time, so there you go. And next page says this: Fallen. But the great, great Doctor Seuss didn't stop there. No, he did. Well, the sequel, the Cat and Hat comes out, which I said I talked about earlier in his part of Bedtime Stories episode you mentioned earlier. But anyway, as he started to publish more books for kids who began to read. Now, see here are many more books and the comedy called "Please Read It All by Myself." For beginning all beginner um uh beginning readers. So the books seen here are follows. Cat Hat comes back, Ram and it's from Ram House. A fly went went by Sam and the Firefly. Big job uh all the books seen here and one two one fish, two fish, go red fish, blue fish. There's all of Dr. Seuss books seen here and Pretty much it for the Dr. Seuss, and there's a lot of horror books written by other book, book authors, seen here. And there's drawings by the um, Dr. Seuss and written by him. But anyway, okay. One day, Ted's friend, 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 sure, posed the environment challenge. He bet that Ted uh, could write a beginning reader using 50 different words. Wow, well, okay. Could he? Will he? Part of Dr. Seuss lived differently, ladies and gentlemen. 
That makes more sense, even though it's a Dr. Seuss book. Hello? Anyways, next page. Anyway, yes, in fact, you can do it here and there. You can do it, do it anywhere with the help of a clever young fellow named Sam I Am. Sam I Am. I talk about this during living books, but I'll do it. Green eggs and ham during bedtime stories episode two. Be look out for it. But anyway, and a whooping big servant of green hands and ham. Imagine that. I talk, I play green eggs and ham during living books during my Friday show at one point, but that's just me. It makes more sense. One of the seasons of my Friday show at that one point. And it makes perfect sense in any way. If you look back when we can sell Bryson episodes at that point four, I play Stella Luna and things like that. Not still Luna, but uh, Jumpstart one, First Grade. Anyway. And this is the only page in the book. Sam, green eggs and ham, cat the hat. That makes more perfect sense. And say, how you do? Anyways. Next page. And this is the only page that's left? Okay, that's a... Why no straight from the tips for Dr. Dr. Seuss. Number one. Set it up and challenge and go. All we need is to figure out who is it to find the whale and the exciting, exciting subject, which would make a, a, an audience. Um, um, average six year old will read like crazy. Two, um, draw your strays. The troop is like I'm white dogs, bears, and cats. I'm more of a pig person, thank you very much. Um, but I don't know how to draw a dog. Dr. Seuss is average during the course, but he's often did in interviews. He drew a perfectly wonderful dog for how great stole Christmas, which I huge fan by the way. Three um uh stir up story ideas for doing. Make all my eyes with Joe Sorry do them. I may do a couple of um other sort of animals. If they bite each other, uh it could it's going to go go in a good book. Uh, if you do it so, the characters began to take over themselves after a year and a half or so. Four, recycle, recycle, recycle. And five, leave, leave, leave. Put this a 60 page long book. I easily write more than um, 1,000 pages before I satisfies. Write, rewrite, reject, re reject, and polish every century. Now, that's what Dr. Zeus said in the book. We're almost done here for the Bedtime Stories episode scene here. And this will take a lot of space for Dr. Seuss to take energy for it. So, there you go on that. And, um, we're two more pages left. Two, one, we're almost done with the pages. So, there'll be a lot of history behind it and behind Dr. Seuss. And, actually, four more pages left. But anyway, I know from the author, several years ago, I thought of my, my biography of Dr. Seuss, a combination of a group, a focus group in the first graders, and asked what they would met my most like to know. Made my may curious how to make, he would make books. His books, my guy. One can imagine that Dr. Seuss had written and put them um, in a buying machine in his house, house my guy. Um, the great doctor would uh, have proved, and for himself, I'll be giving factual answers to um, serious questions. He once told an interviewer that, that he got um, all of his um, ideas in my own village uh, in Switzerland called Uber Gretsch. Something like that. Anyway, where, where you might want, where every summer to have a cuckoo clock repaired and which is Uber Gretsch um, and sure enough, a friendly uh, Uber Gretsch. Um, Presented me um, the top notch idea. I should tell the story how Dr. Seuss created this most celebrated work, the cat in the hat. Um, I scabber each book, every book, and article, make it fine. Um, I searched for 20 and unexpected details because, as Dr. Seuss pointed out, giving big kids to turn them page and it's sensible, something like that. Some money was mostly the truth, then what they Pension the Seuss will mis mischief and try and follow Dr. Seuss advice to offers. Write, re write, reject, reject, re reject, and polish incessantly. Whenever I found myself stuck, a copy of the master, I put it in the upgraded tab. Juicer, 
Portland, Oregon. Wow, okay. There's the last one, and then we'll get to the last page of the book. See here, it says, I know I'm from Australia. I grew up with, with Dr. reading Dr. Seuss books. He saw our humor were very much a part of what I have, wasn't as a child. Um, the curved line of this importantly tiled world and the Zay personalities in this character's have are surely influenced by Olar. So privileged to explore Ted Geisel's process that he created the cat in the hat. He has some big challenges to overcome. The listeners promote um, word must have been dawning for something whose vocabulary seemed to be gone who where the ditch already ended. Wow, okay. With the task with the degree that stored so tightly, one that um, each word had to be exactly where the white right one in the exactly the right place and the right rhyme. Mm-hmm. John Lewis and John Tidewires seemed to prepare for the giant attacks and something like that. I imagine his characters definitely followed them um, up the stairs in the studio where they wanted to see what um, they were become of them. I would have them um, love focus on over Ted's shoulder, shoulder something like that where he got his first bond copy of the cat in the hat and seeing them look in the space where he and the Spanish cat came from the f face to face um, from the first thought. Terry Hawks, Golden May. Now, see here are the novels you saw earlier. I read earlier. And these are pictures you saw in the illustrators in this book. So that is the author and illustrator in the book. Last page of the book, see here are these. I'm not going to, I was just reading the whole story and plus the whole fall. Yeah. And there are books written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss and their followers. Some of them I have read in their time and some are not. But anyway, that I read during bedtime stories. Anyway, and they are. Um, and the fake there are have Saw and Mulberry Street. The Fire and Hats and Barry Cobbins. Seven Lay Gauras. King Stilt. Horn Hatch Yegg. The Collins um, Pool. Um, Fair work and the big hard moose, Pardo and the all black smudge up. If I ran the zoo, scrambled egg supper, um, super smudge up. Um, horn hat, here's who, um, beyond zebra. If I ran the, the circus, the cat, the hat, I would go to Christmas, cat and hat comes back. You're the total and other stories. Happy birthday to you, which I talked about the joint bedtime stories earlier, family. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, green eggs and ham, great seizures on another book, another story, sleep book, ABC, hop and pop, um, fox and socks, I had trouble getting the silver bazaar, song book, um, cat and half my dad, foot book, like furry, like furry tigers today, and other stories, uh, I can draw it myself. Mr. Brown can move, can you? The Lorax, um, Marvin K. K. Boy, can you please go now? Whatever can I tell you how lucky you are? Share with me another stub. There's a walk in my pocket. Oh, the things you think. You can fix my dot. Quiz, cast me, quiz with my dot. I can read with my sh eyes shut. Oh, say, can you say? Hunches and punches. The bar, uh, battle book, you only want on one, one, something like that. Other place you can go, the bubble see in the other lost stories, um, uh, or in the, in the crossbow and the little more lost stories, and then what pet should I get? And that's the only stories you hear written before he died in 1991 of September 20th, 24, something like that. Anyway, that is all the stories he had written from when he was alive. And that is the cat in the hat making of it. And imagine that, how Dr. Seuss wrote Cat in the Hat. What did I think about this book? It was amazing. So far, this book was a success. That was Bedtime Stories episode number 541. Hope you enjoyed it. Still, this is going to be a brand new episode of Bedtime Stories episode number 542. 
we're just going to be about Fun Pie, written by Stephen White and his adult daughter. Now, my excuse me, I got um, record tape, make a, now a book review from about Jim Henson and go to bed. After this is over, I'm happy to um, um, probably upload from my second channel and get prepared for something. To like some suggestions by the baby, we can move it and soon say out. See ya.